Ya, yeah, good morning, comrade uh, Temi Tokpe Eluemi Balogu. I have just listened to your reply to the VN that I made. And uh, the, the reply was full of insults against me. And you were even proud about it, that you were insulting me. Well done. Congratulations for insulting me. But I will not insult you for some two good reasons. Reason number one. I am a man of God. I don't give myself into insults. Although you don't believe that I am. But your belief in me does not change anything. You are not the one that uh, evaluates me. I am the one who evaluates myself. The Bible which you too claim to read say, let every man examine himself. It is from myself, I am the best person to know that I am a Christian or not a Christian, not you. That is that one. Number two, even if I choose to insult if I choose to quarrel, is it Eluemi Balogun that I will quarrel with? What does Eluemi Balogun have? Is it by going to see DHR that overnight she becomes somebody that I should engage myself with? Even if I am a Christian and by chance, I choose to quarrel. I quarrel with people that have wit. You know the people I have engaged in the grand ecosystem, you know them. If you compare yourself with them, where will you be? If I begin to quarrel with you, wouldn't they see me as a useless person? What do you have by going to see DHR? That see DHR that you went to, do you know that I too can go there? You are saying I'm a grant handler. Is it only in grants that uh, the CDHR visits? Do you know that by this your VN, you have committed yourself? You don't know yet. And I won't reveal the areas you have committed yourself. I won't release them, release them to you. The CDHR is not your personal property. If you could go there, another person can equally go there. And it is not on the ground of grant alone that people can go to CDHR. That is what you don't know. That is what you don't know. You have insulted me. Well done. Me, I have not insulted you. When I came out to give a voice note this morning, the only word I mentioned that you took as an insult was, I said you are stubborn. And because you don't know the meaning of being stubborn, you took it as an insult. Please go to Google. Uh, there is a common adage that goes, hey, don't just get mad, consult a lawyer. Don't just get mad. First of all, consult a lawyer. When you hear a word, before you get mad, take out time and find out some certain things. But me, when I visited the Google, Stubborn. To be stubborn means showing dogged determination not to change one's attitude or position on something. That's the meaning of being stubborn. And it is reflective of what you are doing. So which insult have I given you? You made up your mind not to change your... You have determined not to change your mind on something. Are you not stubborn? Me too, I can be stubborn. So, Eluyemi Balogun, that is it. I didn't insult you, but you came 
railing insults on me and you have promised uh, you have uh, uh, expressed yourself that you will insult me yes if you insult me congratulations to you i will not give it back to you for the two reasons i have advanced I have the spirit of god although you don't believe and your belief is immaterial and number two you are not the kind of person i should engage in quarrel going to the dhsa cdhsa does not change you overnight do you know when you were even taking the public uh, exposure go and look at yourself how you dress some people were even calling you a mad woman the way your hair was they insulted hell out of you me i did not insult you they insulted hell out of you and you are posing you will show me fine i pray that that day breaks that day that you will be able to show me when you were making your vn instead of making points you were ranting you were rolling out insults saying that you have elders in your in your village let me come to your elders let them teach me so so that your elders will teach me what they taught you that you have displayed here now you know some some of you when you talk you condemn yourselves without knowing the way you have spoken now do you show people that you resemble somebody that elders have brought up that is the rhetorical question for you i don't want to make this vn too long i will just pick what some of the things you said one after the other in your vn you say did i tell you the cdhr are, are not working tell me to tell you me by go go and listen to your vn go and listen to your vn and if they are not working then why the need for you to go for protest haba reason now reason now that was what you said and that was what moved me if you are dependent on the cdhr that you went to why the need for the protest if you ever went to school why the need for the protest number two you call me a useless man fine yes those who are listening to you they will know whether reverend dr bartolomeo agbochan is a useless man or is not a useless man so that is not an issue Number three, you say I paid you money. You paid me money for what? What did you pay me the money for? Explain now to people. And how much did you pay me? Please come to the social media space. I paid money to this man, this amount, and for this, say it. If you don't say it, even before I came out, people have already localized you where you belong. Number four, you say I make people dry in two bars. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? This term that you have used, be ready with evidences. Be ready with evidences. In two bars, I was connecting two bars to people. A lot of people have registered into two bars. I was connecting two bars to with people with information all the money they were paying to tell about it didn't come to me i have said it time with that number and uh, i expl- explained everything you talk anyhow maybe before you came out to give this voice no you did not even consult any lawyer to direct you the way to talk if you say i make people dry in tell but please be ready with your um evidence is to substantiate what you have said point number 5 what is paining you about me yes what is paining me about you is you are not organized you are not organized you are so pompous you are so full of yourself you go against yourself we came out when you say that you didn't have money I and Steve Ipoli Ipol, Steve Ipoli we came to help you I made an announcement and I thank God I didn't tell people to pay to my account 
I didn't tell people to keep my account. You came up to the social media and ranched us down. The same money you ranched us down for. You came out again and started begging that they should give you money. Are you organized? Are you organized? You came out uh, fighting grant handlers and you came, you started promoting a grant. You promoted Epic. Are you organized? These are the things that are paining me. Are you organized? You are not organized. You are not straightforward. Yes. Did you not come and promote Epic? The VNs are there. And it's the same grant that you are fighting. And you are promoting. You are not organized. That is what is paining me. And you have right to talk about others. I have right to talk about you too. <clears throat> Point number six. Point number six. You told people to pay money to my account. What is wrong about that? It would have been wrong if I had told people to pay money to my account. When you talk, you condemn yourself without knowing. You cried for money now, and I told people to pay money to your account. What is wrong about that? Point number seven. You beg. You are a thief. You say, I beg, and at the same time, you say, I am a, P a thief. Number one, let me take the first one. What is wrong in begging? Even if I beg. What is wrong in begging? Is there any law that is against begging? Me, I can beg you. It's better for me to beg than to dupe people. And you again say, I am a thief. Which one will they say now? Which one will they take now? I am a beggar or I am a thief. Look at the way you are contradicting yourself. These are the things that are paining me. And you are the same that are bringing yourself to the forefront that people should listen to you. Point number eight. Everybody are avoiding you. Yes, you will say that. You will say that because of where you are. A person in a typical bush does not know that anything like the town, the township exists. But for your information, so many people, not only in the grant ecosystem alone, in the whole Nigeria, they are coming to me now. About four days ago, I was on national TV. There are colleagues that are coming to me from left, right, and center. If you read it, you will get mad. You say people are running away from me because you have a coarse brain texture. You don't know what is happening around me. You would say that. Point number nine. Uh, you are saying that uh, the CDHR are going to give me invitation. If they give me invitation, I will be very happy. I will honor it. If you go, but be ready with your petition, though. Be ready with your petition. What I have done, not only being a grand handler, but what I have practiced that is inimical to grand practice, put them properly in order. If you don't put them properly in order, I will floor you. When I go there, I will floor you. Secondly, you should know that it is CDHL is not your property. The CDHR belongs to everybody. If you reported me there, me too, I can report you there. You know, there are some of the things you have mentioned in your voice note that I indicted. I too can report you to CDHR. That is what you should know. <laughs> but you don't know. I can even go and begin to prepare and file my petitions against you right now. And me, I will not stop at the CDHR. I will take you to court. What you have mentioned in your G note for you to go and prove them. For you to go and prove them. Tell me, talk me, tell me, balogu. There are some people when they are illiterate and they hide themselves, they don't get into trouble. But when you are an illiterate and you bring yourself out for people to know you, you will get into trouble. Tell me, talk about Eluemi Balogu. If you mention myself, my name as CDHR, when they invite me, I will come. 
I will come. But me too, I have the right to report you to CD Heshal. And in reporting you to CD Heshal, it's not only when you are a grand handler, that is what you don't know. There are some things you have mentioned in your view that you have indicted yourself that you don't know. Be ready to defend yourself. This is the elder statesman talking. Point number 10. By the time I'm ready for you, you will know. Hey. Temi tokpe elu yemi balugun. How can a rat rant against a lion? How can a rat rant against a lion? A rat telling a lion that anytime I am ready for you, you will know. Temi tokpe elu yemi balugun. If you don't have knowledge, go and ask the people who do. Uh, express yourself before people and express me the way you know me and let them just oppose between me and you the person that is more deadly the person that is more deadly that time that you see when you are ready for me tell me talk how i wish that time be tomorrow how i wish that time be tomorrow who you think you are you come out and showcase it and let people see uh, so many people be without me even coming to say what i'm saying they know that you don't have sense by saying what you are saying that way you are ready for me for the elder statesman no problem point number 11 are you not calling for money you were asking me a question, am I not calling for money? Am I not begging for money? I have answered this question once more. If I call for money, what is wrong about that? Is there anything wrong? When I say, Eli, Eli, uh, please, can you send me 10,000? What is wrong? There's nothing wrong. The only thing you need to do is that, no, I don't have the 10,000 to give you. Or you will now say, I have 10,000, but I'm not giving you. Simple. And I go and rest. That is not inimical to the law. What is inimical to the law is when I steal, when I rob. Tell me, talk about how I wish you had stood on the first point by saying I am a thief. Uh -huh. Package yourself and come and show whoever, the law enforcement agent, how I have stolen. To come and express yourself. Why then did you say that I am calling for money again? Eh? Are you not confusing yourself? People know that you are confusing yourself. Point number 12. Are you after me because I did not listen to you? Look at the way you were talking. Tell me, talk about Let me say something to the whole masses. When you were about to come out, all Grand Pressure Group came to my office and said, this was what you wanted to do, that I shall help you. And that should they give my number to you, I will mention names. Abdul Razak, the leader of the All Pressure Group, Grand Pressure Group was there. All well was there. It was all well that took my number and sent to you, as I sent to her. If she needs my service, I'm here for her. And they gave you my number. I am mentioning names. And for sure, you called me. And I asked you, what do you want me to do for you? Tell me, Topa, you remember, Logan? You told me that I should get you a lawyer. Then I got my lawyer. And I sent the number of my lawyer to you. That you should talk with him. I didn't want to play a third party game. You talked with my lawyer. And my lawyer said that you should package your points and send to him so that he can prepare your case. From there, you didn't get to my lawyer again. And you didn't get to me again. All of a sudden, I heard that you were in Abuja and you were in CDHR. I called my lawyer. I said, How did you go? He said, you, My lawyer said that he had been waiting for you. But 
He has not heard from you. Then I called you. And what you told me, you said that uh, you didn't have money to pay for lawyers. And that is how you have gone to see DHR. I said, okay, fine. Okay, fine. And even after that, after Steve Igol Ipoli has come out and said that you needed money, I came out and spoke that people should raise money for you. And God directed me, I did not release my own account details. I told Imabo, Imabo is listening to you. Maybe he has given you the money or he has not, or she has not given you the money, I don't know. I told him about to collect money and give to you. Him about collected money from people and it amounted to about 90,000 naira. I told him about to send it to you. So if I am hating you, if I don't want what you are doing, how will I do that? And this is what everybody knows. This is what everybody knows. If I have a skeleton in my cupboard, will I support what you are doing? And even when you were mentioning people you were going to invite, I don't know, either by mistake or whatever, you mentioned the refuge. Refuge. I said, Kai, how I pray. This day breaks. This day breaks. For your information, you are not the only one who is taking me before the law. Even if you take, even if you have the capacity. The time I and um, Jennifer Isaac, what Jennifer they took me to the police station now. I went there and I came out. Eh? It's not the first person that called police that will win a case who, for your information. That is what you don't know. You are using CDHR as a terror to people. Yes, CDHR should be a terror to people that have skeleton in their cupboard. I don't have any skeleton in my cupboard. If you mention my name before CDH, when I come there, I will shred you to pieces. I will say something that your head will begin to smell from there. And the CDHR people will say, ah, Madam, why didn't you conduct your investigation very well before you bring a matter like this? That is what is going to happen to you for your information. And just like I said it earlier, uh -huh. CDHR is not a prerogative of only one person. If you could take me to CDHR, me too, I can take you to CDHR for your information. And even what you have done now in this your VN, what you have said now, so many things that you have said, I will not even go to CDHR. I will go to a, a more powerful body than CDHR for you to know that Nigeria is not in your hands. The way you are talking and you are ranting like a bulldog. And this bulldog that I call now, you will you equally go and begin to say that I'm insulting you. No, that is not an insult. Go and find out the meaning of bulldog very well. So that is what you should, you should know. Madam Ten Temi Tokpe Eluemi Balogun. Number 13 out of your point that I would like to uh, respond to because I want to respond to you on points of law. When I take you to there, uh, you will begin this and I say if I take you to CDHR, because you did not go to school, you don't know. The function of CDHR. CDHR is not a hell. CDHR is not a den of lions. They investigate. They don't even have cell there to put anybody. They don't have the power to put anybody in the cell. After their investigation, they will, leave, they will still go to the police or the DSS or go to court. That is what you don't know. That is what you don't know. If I take you there, if you take me there, me too, I can still take you there. That is what you don't know. That is what you don't know. Yes, you can pile up your petition. No problem. Me too, I can pile up my own petition against you. And for sure, with this VN that you have made, you have voiced out some certain words that are indicting on you. And I'm going to prepare the case against you. 
for your information. You talk pa 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 without evaluating what you say. You don't know that some of the things you say can indict you. Point number fourteen. You don't have any reputation. Tell me talk about you are telling me I don't have any reputation. Well, fine, no problem. I leave that for the general public to judge whether the elder says man has a reputation or he doesn't have reputation. If, if I come and begin to defend myself, now it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What people know about me, they know about me. It's not when I come up to express myself. Last but not the least, point number 15 that I've drafted out, out of what you are saying. You want to discredit what CDHR has done. That is what you said, yes? Because you didn't go to school and you don't understand English very well. It's not me that is discrediting you. It is you that is discrediting it. Because first of all, you came and said that Ken Wakama, through Anyang Pascal, Comrade Pascal Anyang, said that his documents are with the federal government. And that the CDHR are writing to the federal government. Let us wait for that. And we have been waiting. And uh, instead of waiting, you now came up and made up your mind to go for protest. Who is discrediting the work of the CDHR? Are you not the one? I am not the one. Though. You are the one discrediting the work of the CDHR. You have now come to say, okay, oh, this thing that we depended on the CDHR, CDH, CDHR has disappointed us. Let us go to the street. That is what it means. That is what it means. Therefore, tell me, Tope, Eliemi I want you to understand yourself. I want you to understand yourself very well. Nobody is afraid of CDHR. Except CDHR has come to become another thing else. If not given by the terms of their engagement, they are not a place for anybody to dread. No, they are not a place for anybody to dread. What they do is so investigate. Yeah, I am ready for investigation. If you feel that I've done nothing, why not? I am not hiding, as you know. The elder statesman does not hide. That is what you know very well. And I am blunt about the truth. I don't hide the truth. People know this about me. You too, you know. The only thing, you, you are hiding it. You are parboiling it. But there's no how you can convince people against me. Because I have been long in this exercise. And people know the kind of person that I am. You, your, your, your lips are not strong enough to rate me down. No! Your lips are too small to rate me down. On the final note, come up again and insult me more. But I will not give it back to you. If you come, you insult me. Eh? Whatever you say in the insult that you have said them wrongly, I will come and clear them. That is what I will do. Thank you and good morning.